Shalom, shalom from the city of David here in Jerusalem. I'm Dr. John Delancey. And I have to tell you that one of the most impressive and aggressive archaeological projects here in Jerusalem is actually here at the city of David. I'm actually standing on the top of an observation tower that overviews what was called prior to David conquering this city, the city of Jebus. It was defined by the Kidron Valley to the east and the Teropian or Cheesemaker Valley to the west. The city of David was only 11 acres in size about 350 yards long and maybe 100 yards wide at its widest point. The city of David was mentioned many times in the Bible, but we know from the text in 2 Samuel chapter 5 that date about to the time of Hezekiah. We know from 2 Kings chapter 20 and 2 Chronicles 32 that as Hezekiah anticipated the Assyrians led by King Sennacherib coming in 701 BC, the text tells us that he heightened the walls of the city and he dug a tunnel in order to bring water into the city. We now know from recent excavations that the source of water, the Gihon Spring, was protected by a massive tower. Later on, the city of David would be destroyed by the Babylonians in 586. Here in the area called Area G, excavated in the late 70s and 80s, are structures that date from the time of David all the way through the time of Nehemiah. These ex excavations were quite extensive. It revealed many structures and even supporting glacis were a wall structure that perhaps even held into place the very palace of David on top. These excavations reveal a lot about how people lived here in Jerusalem. Those who lived in house structures along this eastern slope built their houses in a terrace form. In other words, 
one house upon another. Here you can actually see portions of these houses, including the steps that would have led to perhaps a flat roof of this particular structure. These houses were destroyed by the Babylonians in 586 and in part re-inhabited and rebuilt by those who returned to Jerusalem under the leadership of Nehemiah. Believe it or not, archaeologists have actually found a stone toilet, the earliest of its kind. This was discovered in 1982. Here we see this stone with a hole in the middle. It's square. We know that Achiel was the one who owned this toilet because of the inscription that was found in this structure. Lower down on this eastern slope were the city walls. Both Jebusite walls were found, as well as the walls of Hezekiah. The source of water for the city of David was the Gihon Spring. You can access this spring underneath this building in front of us. Hezekiah was the one who built a water tunnel in order to bring water into the city. It's a 1720 foot tunnel that was built in advance of the Assyrians as they came invading from the north. The walls of the city of David were about halfway down the slope, from the top of the slope down in between there in the Kidron Valley, and we're looking at actually remnants of the Jebusite wall that was here in place when David conquered the city. Later on, a couple centuries later, Hezekiah refortified the walls of the city when he knew the Assyrians were coming from the north. About halfway down the slope of the City of David excavations is something called Warren Shaft. It was once believed that it was up through this 52-foot shaft that Joab infiltrated the city of the Jebusites in order to conquer it. It's mentioned in 2 Samuel chapter 5. But we're going to walk down this series of tunnels discovered by Charles Warren. And even though it most likely does not pertain to the story of David conquering the city, it's still a fascinating place to be to understand how ancient people lived and obtained their water. close to the source of water for the city of David, a place called the Gihon Spring. Not quite there yet, but this below was part of the reservoir holes that we used to collect the water that flowed from the Gihon Spring. These date to the time of the Jebusites as well as to the time of David and beyond. This was part of the stone tower that guarded the Gihon Spring, recently discovered by archaeologists here in the city of David. It's a massive tower. They once thought that the spring 
was actually protected by four towers. Massive stones of this tower that guarded the water source of the city of David. The Gihon Spring was the water source of the city of Jebus as well as the source of water for the city of David. This was where King Solomon was initiated into kingship. Shalom from deep inside Hezekiah's tunnel. On each and every trip that I leave to the land of the Bible, we experience walking through this 1,720-foot tunnel. It's actually mentioned in the Bible, 2 Kings 20 and 2 Chronicles 32. This probably was a four-year project. Hezekiah started this project in 705 B.C. As he prepared the city for the invasion by the Assyrians led by King Sennacherib, who, according to his own words, surrounded Hezekiah like a bird in a cage. <laughs> 